suppose it's true to say that a single harmonica could make quite a lot of music. So the decibel count at the Civic Centre in Southampton must have been sent rocketing when a thousand harmonica enthusiasts turned up for the first world convention. James. When you look at even a small collection of harmonicas like this, you begin to realise that the world of the harmonica player remains just as sophisticated as ever. And with me I have the Walton family from Bournemouth, who are going to play a tune for us in a moment. But John, first of all, is the harmonica really on the way in or the way out? I think it's on the way in. I think if you listen to a television set, any channel you like, for more than about an hour, you're bound to hear a, a mouth organ. What is that, on a signature tune? On a signature that? tune or yeah. uh, as an orchestral it's instrument true, or whatever. It? Yes, yeah, absolutely. it is. But in fact, uh, th th it's, a, it's a simple one that still really plays expressive tunes, isn't it? This is the one. This is the lead instrument. Yes. Extraordinary. Like the There's one that caught my eye down here. This seems to have, what, how many all in one? Six? Six old diatonic harmonicas all around the central spindle, yeah. Ordinary harmonica. Ordinary old pocket mouth organ. Play a couple. Well, yeah, it sounds like this. So you have different chord combinations well, on each one. Keys, yeah, different keys right. and bits yeah, and pieces. Yeah. All right, then. Now, um, <laughs> what are you going to play for us? Uh, this is a little piece written for the mouth organ band some time ago. It's called Harmonica Boy. Great. Off you go. Thanks very much. <laughs> Wonderful.